Welcome to Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious, and we're cooking Gel House Burritos today. Let's get started. Today we're making Gel House Burritos, and this is what you need to make them. We've got tortilla chips, nacho cheese flavor, cup of ramen noodles, black beans in a can, one full can, Sliced jalapenos, about a handful. And about a cup of cheese in a can or jar. I've already got my water, so about two cups of water. And I've already dumped my beans in a bowl. And of course you need the tortillas for the burrito. Okay, first thing you need to do is smush up your potato chips. So you're gonna just bang on them. Oh, they're nice and smush. Nice and smushy. Open the bag. And I'm going to dump all the chips in there. Put my bag aside. The next thing I'm going to do is dump my beans inside the bag. I'm going to put some jalapenos. Put them on a slicing board and just cut them up a bit. Nothing fancy. And just scoop them up and put them in the bag too. And some cheese. Like I said, about a cup. Which is probably like half the container. Let's set that aside. Next thing you need is the ramen noodles. Or whatever noodles you buy that's in a cup. The reason why you use the cup of noodles and not the package of squares is because these are already par cooked and they'll cook up nice with the hot water that's in here. So now we're gonna go to the microwave and use the microwave to heat the water up. So with Gel House burritos, you need to boil the water about three to four minutes. You want it to be nice and popping hot. Now we just wait. Pour a little bit at a time because you know this is plastic. Start smushing it up a little bit so that it starts mixing in. The chips and the ramen noodles are going to get all nice and mushy. I think that was good. I, I didn't use but two and a half cups of water. Fill up the bag, leave a little room space, and then just mix it all up. And of course it's boiling hot water so it heats everything up nice and warm. You just let her sit for a few minutes. Set her aside. While it's sitting, you can take a load off for about five minutes. This is a good time to pre cook your tortillas. And 
and put things away. I learned this recipe from my ex-husband who's serving time in the penitentiary. He sent me a letter with the recipe in it and told me to try it and I did and I sure did like it. Taking a couple tortillas out, putting them in the toaster oven. You gotta watch these really carefully because they'll burn in the toaster oven. I like them best in the toaster oven than in a microwave. While we're waiting, we just turn it over again while this starts. So you can see it's starting to get firmer because everything's starting to swell up with that water that's in there. Tortillas are nice and flexible. Just gotta get yourself a plate out. Lay the tortilla down on your plate. Open your bag. It looks like it's good. It's nice and firm and solid. Well, now that the gel house burritos are ready to eat, you just need a spoon. Scoop them up into your tortilla just like you would your tacos or burritos that you make anywhere else. Look how delicious that looks. Add a little bit of your favorite sauce. I like to use any kind of salsa. Your hot sauce, picante sauce, just drizzle a little over the top. It's ranch dressing or sour cream, whatever you got in the refrigerator. Just drizzle a little bit of that on top. Mmm, I can't wait to taste these gel house burritos. They are so good. Just wrap them all nice and tight, like so. So good. Mmm. Still a little bit of a crunch to it. Mmm. I love me some gel house burritos. Mmm. This is a fit and mill for anybody who'd like to try it. Really simple and easy to make. Doesn't even require a stove. Just a microwave. A few minutes of your time and you have this wonderful concoction. So yummy. Mm. I hope you enjoy our gel house burritos. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious. Join us next time on Trailer Park Cooking.